I can't even believe what was about ready to transpire next. For our King of Kings had no intentions of uh, doing much more aside from laying on holy hands upon the guy's head in order to also impart a spiritual gift of understanding. And right before he let the one demoniac who was cleaned out and uh, had some counseling and he was doing all right, Christ gave him his robe to take up to the other uh, demoniac and uh, that had his virtue in it for healing. And it was a mighty miracle that would come forth so that the man would be able to uh, be able to solve some deep mis puzzles, some deep puzzles and have spiritual insight even into some deeper enigmas of the spirit. And after all of that uh, was finally accomplished on that night of spooky spirits will come alive, that heir of all things then spoke some mysteries unto that uh, healed man so that those who knew him could start really standing amazed. Therefore, our teacher of teachers went on to tell that former demoniac that he should always remember that where one is surrounded on every side by beauty, that there is nothing that could ever be divided. So it was therefore a divine time of great revelation and a time of confusion and a time that would see that former idiot hastily raising up to the ranks of an accelerated genius. Um, it was also the place within Christ's ministry where even the twelve apostles would become dumbfounded but totally by the uh, um, amazing uh, obedience of those demons unto him. For after the Lord's following message unto Elam, they also couldn't fully understand the depths of some of his teaching. Uh, there was still more that they did not understand. But one thing was to become very, very obvious in the light of love that he was pouring out over those people who had uh, been drooling at a mouth, running around naked in the uh, uh, the death caves of the tombs of Gadara uh, where the blood of uh, a great herd of pigs had just gone down in a great uh, red bloodshed of uh, a watery doom. So it came about that that former possessed man healed by the word of love, uh, he had like a IQ of something pretty darn low before uh, this all happened. But after those demons, the legion left him, he was free indeed, and he had like a booster uh, from Christ's healing power. And uh, there was like a restoration. It's, it was for him, it was like an amnesiac all of a sudden remembering everything. It was actually much like that for that particular guy. And so it would come about that until after our uh, uh, second Adam finally returned to earth down the holy road, uh, his ways of love would always uh, seem elusive, but yet uh, so easily to grab. It's like it's right there if you can just imagine it. I know it's there and I can have it, but you got to be willing to hold out your hands. So lift up your hands to heaven, receive his love. He is pouring out an ocean of his adoration through this channel. He is pouring out his love upon all flesh because he said he is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. So praise the Lord that that living mystery of the ages, he wanted that delivered man to get, get it really deep into his spirit for his own benefit that when the kingdom of God finally grew near, and it's always an inside job, it's external, but it's internal too at first. And only then would all the redeemed of humanity be perplexed about nothing any longer. And he was talking about the days uh, of the latter day Daniel when the wise would shine as the stars. Just read Daniel 12. Then comes the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word opens anew. It was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9. And he also knew that it was always fated that the elect of God would easily know in these days that the likeness of what is below is that which is above. For everything that is above and below is nothing, 
but the imagination of those standing by without knowledge, for there is no darkness but ignorance alone. So the Lord was then gazing upon Elam with overflowing love, and he said, As often as you fall, rise up, and you will be saved by your love as you walk the morrow, uh, the way of love evermore and of peace. But he, he stressed that, but if any walking, uh, anyone walking on the wide road fails to make what is on the right to be left and the left to be right, and what is above to be below, and what is before to be behind, all things being opposite, substituting the carnal nature for one is not. Uh, such souls cannot perceive the kingdom of God, for the first is last, and the last is first, in all things in the kingdom of God. And he said that if someone doesn't make their low things high, and their crooked things straight, they could not enter in the kingdom of God because they would have their love light turned off, committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, uh, letting letting themselves perish on the uh, with the unforgivable sin. So it came about that great was the thanksgiving of that healed uh, demoniac Elam, and so it came about that Elam had fully had God's grace revealed for his salvation through his love in action again as it was a little children he was born again within that moment at first he wanted to remain with the lord and his 12 and he didn't even want to go back to his naked friend who was still slobbering up in the tombs of gadara naked uh it was a, a terribly possessed second demoniac but jesus bid him to go and be a, a witness of god's great greatness and love unto his friend above in the tombs. And he had given uh, the man his own robe off his own back because his virtue was in the robe. And he told, go give it to that naked man. And that man with a new lease on life believed him, believed the word of God, who is our living word of hope. And he gave the man a vision. And he said, go show your friend love. So he did return to the uh, friends. And the demons within that second man also left him within a moment of a moment. Uh, the second that that white robe of Jesus was draped over his shoulder, the uh, demons were gone. They had to vacate into the waterless places because there were no more uh, uh, swine left to inhabit. So Elam then became that day of a witness of a, the miracle of love, which, which is Christ Jesus Almighty. And he praised the Lord in the highest saying, and he remembered this from his early days uh, when the ministers had talked. He said, my arms, in my arms I lift up my beloved, who is the blessed and the adored, the most high God, even to the grace of the Lord, because he had cast off my bonds off of me. And he, as my helper, lifted me up in his grace uh, by his salvation of love. Then I put off darkness and clothed myself in his overflowing light of love and evermore forgiveness shall be mine. And my soul has received a body free from sorrow, affliction, or pains. And increasingly helpful to me was the thought of the Lord and of his fellowship, and, and corruption was it purity of love that saved him from a hardship, a life of insanity, because Christ brought forth sanity from insanity. So he said, as I was lifted up in his love, and as I served before him, as I became near unto Christ, praising and confessing that Lord of evermore, that Lord of always, which I shall ever do more forever, my heart is now running over, and I have found it in my mouth, his praise, and it will evermore be upon my lips, because I know that our Heavenly Father is his light, and he brings forth the exaltation of the Lord, which shall evermore increase upon my face and in my heart, with my praise likewise overflowing. And there was a real twisting uh, twist to the story of joy. For it came to pass that the people of Gadara were most amazed when uh, Elam and his healed friend Neslik both came back 
worshiping God and talking about his compassion. And the angry farmers of that evil place then went out to see the carnage of those slaughtered swine with their very own eyes. And then after they received the shock of their life, they went down to the shore and they talked briefly with Yeshua. And once again, they saw those two who had just been uh, healed from the demonic legion's possession. And nor could any of those farmers of swine possibly understand how they could be sitting there with the apostles in Christ, being clothed and in their right minds. And they quickly became sore afraid at that sight because they knew that they were crazies for a long time, slobbery, uh, incoherent madmen. And here they were like having tea with our majesty and majesties. So it came to pass that um, 20 elders decided to confront those two healed victims. So it came to pass that Elam and Elik once more explained how they were healed unto them and what had happened concerning all of the drowned swine. And those villagers of Gadara began praying that Jesus would depart out of their coasts. <laughs> they wanted him gone yesterday and they weren't buying into to some of this stuff. And uh, they didn't know what uh, uh, they accused them of black magic is what they were doing under their breath. So howbeit Jesus suffered them not, but instead told them that false judgment is the corrupted father of all stupid sins. They were just being foolish and they were being destroyed by their own lack of knowledge and their own lovelessness was going that way too. And Christ knew that for as much uh, as none sins without a will, uh, he knew that and no ignorant person ever wills what they do not know. There's a lot more about ignorance than bliss, and that is the truest truth. So it came about that Jesus wasn't baffled by their uh, darkness, nor was he shocked by it. So the Lord then said with great woe, said the great woe would surely befall anyone. Karma uh, and the law of sowing and reaping would any, befall any sin, sinner judging sin worthy and goodness unworthy. Uh, and on that account, uh, someone who rejects goodness and chooses things that are not good. And Yeshua also stressed that such fools would bear an intolerable punishment when the living word of God uh, brings forth the word of reality that would judge them by their own actions. And when they sailed away, it would be uh, quite a, a time. And it came to pass, therefore, that when that our son of Mary, our beloved, the blessed and the adored, when he and his faithful few climbed back into the ship, Elam once again prayed hard that he would might be able to even go with them. But Jesus said unto him, Go unto your friends and tell them the great things that, that the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy upon you. So Elam and Nezik obe uh, obeyed and they departed from him and they began proclaiming in Decapolis how great the things were that Christ Jesus did for them, the living word of God. And all men did marvel and talk about that event for many, many days. And uh, man, that was uh, quite the ending and uh, but you think that story is exciting man I don't even believe what happened next so if you want to know come on back next time because uh, this is the only channel on the internet where the passion of Christ is flowing as a mighty river of his blood the sea of adoration he wants to pour out on you can you dig that